Hey, Happy New Year. It's Martha Mick back with a wooden calendar and note station for the new year. So you need a piece of wood and uh, that's a chopstick, a couple of thumbtacks, a piece of string, some simple tools. Oh, that's a craft knife, a ruler, a printout. So I printed out these calendars. I made this myself on my uh, computer. Easy to do, brush, paint, and the all important Mod Podge. You know, we can't go anywhere without Mod Podge. So first we print out our calendar and we have to cut it up. We're going to make our own little tear off calendar. This is a fun technique. You can use it for a lot of different things. The, um, the making of the booklet that is. So first we have to cut up our months. We have 12 of them and we order them. Uh, you don't have to order them at this point, but they're sort of in order. And now we want to cut them all up. Craft knife, you can do this with scissors. Um, craft knife's a little more accurate, but if you don't have one, you use scissors. Now I like to get them lined up and I'm going to make a little pad out of them using the Magic Mod Podge. So close pins and just apply the Mod Podge with that handy dandy little chopstick, which we're gonna use later on also. While that dries, we're going to paint, actually we're gonna stain our wood. This takes very, very little paint. I have a little sparkly green there and some blue, so it's gonna make like a, an aqua color. And I uh, use a brush here, but you could use a sponge as well. And I mix it with the Mod Podge, the paint and the Mod Podge. Makes like a little stain. Do the sides, do the back, wipe it so it doesn't go on too thickly. Now here we go, I'm going to, you'll see the effect. The wood shows through, the wood grain shows through, and I like the effect. You can paint it completely and cover up the wood grain if you like, but this is what I like to do. Rubbing, rubbing here, get the wood, the paint to go into the wood, and now with a piece of sandpaper, I just sort of um, distress the edges, kind of like this look. I don't know why, but I like it. Here's my year. Now, this is hopefully will last you for many years, so you're gonna have to make this little calendar every year but the main part of this little note station will stay for as long as you like. So I'm going to put the year up here. Hopefully it's a better year than last year. Uh, 2021, we're all looking forward to it. Now, you know me and bling, so I have to have a little bit of sparkle here, my little gold paint. And now our little 12 month calendar has dried and it's a tear off. You just have to Take off the months as they go by. Hopefully they don't go by too fast. That's clued on. Now we're gonna trim off that piece of cardboard and there's our little calendar. Now you see where that has popped up? As I say in most of my videos, whenever you do decoupage, you have to um, let the paper bulge out a little bit, but then it will shrink back. Always bulges when it's wet and shrinks back when dry. I have here some little cutouts, stuff laying around the house, old calendars, flyers from the grocery store, the words that are significant to me and that I think will look good. And there's a couple of pictures in there. I have a cute little owl, some puffins, a sloth. That's me, the sloth. And now I am just sort of laying it out and then I'm going to glue it down. Now, if you don't have a glue stick, you can use your Mod Podge. That's a great glue too. I find glue sticks are easier to use. After I have everything glued on where I want it, I'm going to put the Mod Podge on it, decoupage it so it stays nice, doesn't pop up. And again, there's the uh, popping up bubbles, but they go away. Embellishment, and now I have my thumbtacks. This is a very low-tech project. This is a chopstick. I have a lot of these. I love Chinese food, and I never throw the chopsticks away because they come in handy. I'm putting the gold paint on the edges of that. Don't have to do the whole thing because you won't see it all. Put it through your roll of paper. Now what this is, it's um, like an adding machine paper. Measuring it, going to see how far it protrudes through the slot inside the, looks like a roll of toilet paper actually, but it isn't toilet paper. Now here what I'm doing is I am making a groove for the the string to go through. Tying a little knot, I, I believe that's a surgeon's knot. It's an overhand knot with another overhand in there. It makes it nice and secure. And this is waxed thread. If 
you don't, or string. If you don't have waxed string, you can wax it yourself. I'm sure you have a candle somewhere. It makes it stronger. Now what I'm doing is making sure that it is the right length. You're gonna have a little extra maybe, and then you trim it off later. You want it to hang exactly right. This takes a little finessing. And of course, I'm a little bit of a fumble fingers there, but get that to lay nicely and we're almost done. Here's a rubber band around there. It's gonna hold the paper under a little bit of tension there. If you had a piece of some kind of metal that you could put on there, you could make a tear off, but I haven't been able to figure that one out yet. So thank you, there's our beautiful note station. Thank you for watching. And uh, we have lots of crafts at the Patchogue Medford Library. Happy New Year, be well, and join us for more crafting fun soon. Thank you, enjoy.